Here's a preview of our upcoming Frog and Relay driver board. This board's designed to drive the inexpensive opto-isolated relays that you see on eBay, such as these. They're quite inexpensive. They're opto-isolated here, so they're perfect for connecting to this board. You can use this board for a variety of different purposes, including switching frog polarity in conjunction with our servo controller, or for general relay switching duties. It's designed to sit on the uh, Megapoints network. You can give it its own address, or you can share an address with a servo controller so that the 12 relay outputs perfectly match the 12 relay outputs of a servo controller, giving you automatic frog polarity switching. You can drive it from a multi-panel, you can drive it from our routing processor, or you can just plug it into a DCC decoder and give all of the relays a DCC accessory address. So what I'll do, I'll run through the different options and you can see the board working. The relay has the usual 12 volt power connector here. It has two buttons for setting the address up or down and 12 relay outputs, four, eight and 12, and the two network connections here so that you can daisy chain it as part of your network. I'll connect power for those of you with servo controllers, you'll recognize the start sequence. So it's flashing and it's flashing out the network address. Two flashes ready to go. Here's your typical relay board. You'll see it's, it's marked ground one, two, three, four and positive. So I'll just attach the cable, making sure that the ground is the black and I will reattach the black to the ground on the bottom of this. And there's my relay connected. So I've now connected four of the outputs. In the multi-panel starter kit, you'll recognize this test board. So what I'll do is I'll just connect this. Connect the other end of the network to the relay driver board. Power up. So as I press a button now, you can see a relay turning on through the relay LEDs. So there's the first four. I'll take another relay board, connect the ground to the black, and plug it in here. Of course, because I'm doing an awful lot in a small space, it looks like there's wires everywhere. And while we're at it, let's do the third one for good measure. And you can see the whole thing working. Plug in the relay. And wire it to the relay driver. So there we go. 12 relays connected to one relay board, which in turn is connected to the Megapoints network. And from here, I can mash the buttons on my multi-panel or control panel. and see each of the 12 relays fire up. Now normally when you're operating uh, one of the buttons here, this was probably attached to a servo driving a set of points. Okay, I've rearranged everything now. So I will connect this servo controller to the multi-panel. It doesn't matter whether I attach this servo controller to this output on the multi-panel or the daisy chain connector on the relay driver board. Let's plug it in here, switch it on, and it's booted. So now, as I turn um, a servo or a set of points, you can see the corresponding relay is illuminating. So it's giving me, in this case, frog polarity switching. There's 12. Of course, you don't need a multi-panel to drive the relay. You could just use a, a DCC accessory packet. So now I've daisy chained the servo controller into the relay board, which in turn is connected to the accessory decoder. So all 12 servos and all 12 relays share the same address. So I'll adjust points one 
and you'll see the servo move and the corresponding relay illuminate. So in this example it's being used as a frog polarity switch. Here's a macro. Let's move them all. And back. But of course if I remove the servo controller completely, now it's simply a relay accessory. So you can use it to switch whatever you want, even as part of a route where you may want to control track power. Pretty flexible. One of the most simple use cases for the relay driver is if you take the driver board and just plug it into a servo controller that's using toggle switches as you flick the toggle switch, you can see each of the relays being switched on or off. So you're getting frog polarity switching using a relay without using a multi-panel or a DCC module. So it works in good old-fashioned analog mode as well. Thanks for watching.